Since launching at the end of 2013, Armour 3 has provided some unique and memorable gaming experiences to millions of players around the world. A combined arms military game for the PC with incredible scale, depth and freedom, Armour 3 has a lot to offer its players. So, in celebration, we'd like to share just some of the things that we think makes our game special. Welcome to 33 Things About Armour 3. Let's kick off with some of the basics. The game features over 20 different playable vehicles, each modelled and configured in splendid detail. Plus, there's a selection of over 40 weapons to pick from. Most of these are also customizable with a variety of scopes and other attachments. One of Armour 3's two Mediterranean islands, Altis, sprawls across 270 square kilometres of terrain. As you might imagine, there's a lot to explore, with over 1.6 million manually placed objects and 730 kilometres of roads linking together 50 towns, villages and cities. The Republic of Altis and Stratus is populated by five unique factions. That includes NATO and CSAT, alongside the local AAF, FIA guerrillas and the civilian population too. Each has their own motives, characteristics, vehicles and weapons. If you find yourself pinned down, Armour 3's 15 different stances should help you get out of the line of fire, and of course return it. These stances help players to expose the smallest possible target to their enemy. Finding and holding good cover is more important than ever. Just take care to spot the difference between concealment and cover. Armour 3's ballistic penetration is affected by a wide variety of factors, such as weapon type and attachments, materials, calibre and distance. In short, just because you're out of the line of sight doesn't mean you're out of danger. In Armour 3, sound travels at a realistic speed. You might see an explosion off in the distance before you actually hear it. You'll need to consider carefully how much weight you're carrying. Your choice of loadout greatly affects your stamina, which, in turn, has a knock-on effect on your ability to remain combat effective. You'll also find that weapons have distinctive characteristics. At close range, for example, it'll be much easier to handle an SMG than a sniper rifle and a pistol lines up on target far quicker than an LMG. Our recent improvements to weapon handling mean that, in Armour 3 at least, bigger doesn't always mean better. Armour 3's real-time day-night cycle adds a lot of variation and challenge to the environment. Together with dynamic weather, a simple operation starting out on a sunny day can soon turn into something quite different. Plus, new effects like volumetric fog can completely change the complexion of any scenario. It can be easy to get lost on a massive island like Altus. With any luck, you've got your compass, but if you don't, the night sky features an accurate star map, which can be used to navigate. Watch out for the different kinds of wildlife on Altus and Stratus, ranging from goats to grass snakes, bunnies to butterflies, and even sharks and sea turtles in the surrounding waters. Speaking of water, Armour 3 is the first installment in our series to feature diving. Aside from using the STV to move around faster, you also have access to a rifle. Based off an existing prototype that fires special supercavitating ammunition, underwater combat is a reality in Armour 3. Just watch out for its limited range. Going from the sea to the sky, veteran pilots might have noticed that Armour 3 uses volumetric cloud technology. This means you can hide above and dive right through them. Armour 3 accurately simulates FLIR thermal imaging, which means vehicles get warm and dead bodies get cold even the landscape temperature differs depending on the time of day. If you're completely new to Armour 3, we recommend you start off with Bootcamp. Recently introduced in a free update, it offers up a single-player tutorial campaign, Zeus multiplayer training, and virtual reality training topics. For the game masters among us, we deployed the free Armour 3 Zeus DLC back in April 2014. Looking down upon the battlefield from a bird's eye perspective, Game Masters have the power to create and influence multiplayer scenarios on the fly. And Armour 3 content creators can also easily create and save single and multiplayer scenarios via the in-game scenario editor. Our editor is both simple and powerful. New users can set up a basic scenario in a matter of minutes. It's also a great place just to play around in Armour 3's open sandbox. But for the more advanced creators among us, a library of over 1500 script commands can be put to use and help create some truly unique gameplay. Custom content is at the heart of Armour 3. You can easily share and download player-created scenarios and add-ons via the Armour 3 Steam Workshop. So far, around 10,000 scenarios and add-ons have been published, and that number continues to grow each day. 
On top of that, last year Bohemia Interactive launched the Make Armor Not War content creation contest for Armor 3. Here, contestants stand a chance of winning some serious cash prizes, ranging from 20,000 to 200,000 euros. The results are expected to be announced early 2015. And of course, if you're not competing, it simply means there's going to be a whole bunch of splendid free new content for you to play. Alright, let's get back into some more specific game details. Unlike many other shooters, in Armor 3 you can look around by holding the ALT key. Your character will turn his head in the direction you're pointing. This is because, in Armor 3, your character's entire body is simulated. You're not just a floating gunhead. That also means you can switch between first and third person perspectives by, using the default bindings, simply pressing ENTER on the numpad. The game also supports head tracking software such as Trackier, which can, for example, completely change the experience of piloting a helicopter. If a tank detects that it's locked by a missile, it can deploy smokes. Aircraft can also deploy countermeasures in the form of flares. It's possible to configure custom clan insignia, which is visible on soldiers and vehicles. These insignia can also be useful in modes like Zeus. Recently, in a free platform update, we introduced the much-anticipated ability to fire a weapon from a vehicle as a passenger. In addition, we implemented slingloading of cargo for helicopters. And for the true road heads, we've added an optional advanced helicopter flight model. More updates, new features and splendid refinements to the Armour 3 platform are on the way. While a sniper rifle can take down a soldier from more than 1500 meters, there's a chance that an incoming bullet will hit your target's weapon and get deflected. So, watch out for that bullet drop. Let's talk a little bit more about Armour 3's multiplayer. We think that this is where the sandbox truly shines. The game caters for massive all-out warfare with up to 100 players, depending on the scenario and server. Aside from the aforementioned Zeus multiplayer and our official Seas, Escape and Support scenarios, there's an incredible variety of community-made game modes available. These can range from massive cooperative scenarios with dynamically created objectives, classics like sector control and CTI, survival game modes with and without zombies, role-playing servers and much, much more besides. So, as we approach the end of this list, let's take a look at what lies ahead for Armour 3. Of course, we'll continue to support the game with updates, and we'll release Marksman DLC in the first quarter of this year. After that, we'll unveil more details about a major expansion for Armour 3, plus perhaps a few more unannounced surprises along the way. If you sign up to Armour 3's development branch on Steam, you can help us to test out new features. Here on DevBranch, to the great credit of our hardworking teams, we release updates on an almost daily basis. More info is available on dev.armor3.com, where you can also find frequent updates about our ongoing development. OK, to round off, let's check out this great visualization of artillery flying the entire route from gun to designated target. Although this list only really begins to scratch the surface of what's on offer, we hope it at least gives you some idea of what to expect. Of course, the best way to experience it all is by playing. Head across to armor3.com to find out how. Alright, that just about wraps up our look at 33 things about Armour 3. So thanks for watching, and a big thanks to our community too. With your help, a lot's changed since Armour 3 launched. We hope you can look forward to even more splendid change this year. Bye for now!